Hello, Scorpio, and welcome back to my channel. T to the Y to the M to the A or A. All right, today we want to see what's going on in your energy. So remember, this is a general reading. If you like a personal reading, I am always accepting accepting appointments at beingtomorrow.com. All right, I hope you all are having a great day. Staying safe because there is a storm out here if you are in the southeast region of the U.S. So let's see what's going on. Okay, we cleanse the energy spirit. Welcome in spirit. What message do you have for the Scorpio Collective? All right, if you got your earphones in, please cover your ears. We're going to cleanse the energy. Okay, let's get started. Spirit, what message do you have for what message do you have for the Scorpio collective? What's going on in your energy? What's the current situation? Current situation, spirit. We have distracted coming out. Right now, there seems to be this strong energy. Your current situation is that you are distracted from your goals. You're distracted from your purpose or what you want to do. It's something you want to pursue. But it seems like you're distracted because you have a lot of triggers going on around you. Something seems to keep bothering you or triggering you in your energy. This could be the people that's around you, the company you're keeping. This could be being distracted by something that may have bothered you in the past and it keeps resurfacing so it's becoming a distraction it's hard for you to focus on what you need to do because you're kind of stuck in this energy of focus on the past possibly or someone is just triggering you Some, somebody is aware of something that bothers you and they keep pushing that button okay what's the challenge here spirit what's the challenge here your challenge is trying to maintain some type of sustainable results it seems like there's this energy where oh and we have the anxiety and depression coming out so i get this strong energy you're you'll start something and you want to do something you want to pursue something rather an idea a creative venture uh choosing a new job doing something for your health or something that you want to work on you'll get it started but it's kind of hard for you to maintain doing something or having sustainable results because of these distractions and the distractions are the triggers it seems like something keeps taking you back to being in a place of battling with some type of depression or anxiety something something possible mental because it seems like there's still this energy here where A cycle fully has not closed or it's hard to get over something if you're still in the environment or still around the people that's triggering you or still around the people that's causing you hurt or pain. And there also can be a trigger on feeling is that Scorpio, you could possibly have a trigger because somebody is doing something and you want to possibly do the same thing. I feel like when you see something, it becomes a trigger because you wish you were maybe further by seeing somebody do the same thing that you would like to do. And I hope I'm saying that the correct way. Let's say you wanted to, you wanted to become a police. Oh, Lord. I blew that right out. The distraction. You see how that was? Distraction. Your light would keep going. And then something would happen and it will blow that steam right out. That, that manifestation, that uh, inspired action. Something. I feel like, uh, so my example. Let's say you want to become a police officer. But, and you're along the line. You and your friend were in school to be both become police officers. They went on to pursue their career and become a police officer. You wound up becoming pregnant or having to take care of family or becoming married or something. So now when this person crosses your path, it sort of becomes kind of a trigger because you're like, hey, I should, I would have been at that same spot, but I have all this going on in my own personal life that's causing this anxiety and depression. So I'm having a hard time maintaining my results or trying to get to that step because now you're having to go back and go back to school again. And you're like, I don't have the same 
path as that other person. I'm starting to have more challenges than this other person. So that's starting to become a trigger for you because it seems like you're having a harder time on your road to success to maintaining these sustainable results. Something keeps distracting you, but we're going to dig in. Let's see what else is going on, Spirit. Let's see what else is going on. Somebody could be uh, battling with a cold. Somebody could have a sore throat. Spirit, what... What is Scorpio needing to focus on at this present moment? What are they needing to focus on? You have the star in the reverse. You could be going through something with an Aquarius, possibly, maybe. But also with this star energy coming out, this is... um. There's this energy of feeling like maybe either you could be in a company of possibly Aquarius who kind of dims your light or make you feel down or less than or being around a company where, what's that line? If you are the smartest person in a the room, then you need to be in another room. I feel like you are in a company of people who push you down or dims your light. You would be much bigger, much further, but you're keeping the company, it's the company that you keep. If you see this, I'm trying to cover her body. It's the company you keep. I feel like you're the star in the you're the inside your circle. Wow. Look, we have ten of cups. Ten of cups. I feel like it, it's, this could be coming from your family. Star clarified by the ten of cups. I'm getting this energy that you put your family above your own needs. Queen of Swords in the reverse as well. When it comes to your success and wanting to do things for yourself. Because you put your family needs above your own, you are depleting yourself of your ashe, of your energy, of your essence. You're depleting yourself because you give too much to your family. I feel like it's so many people who have their hands out. There's also a ten of cups here coming out. So this is ultimate wish fulfillment, one full of happiness. Like your happiness comes, I feel like your happiness comes from your family. But there's also a lot of emotional needs here. So many people, I feel like, pull on your energy or are needing, are needing you emotionally. And with the Queen of Swords coming out in, re in reverse, we have Aquarius here, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That's your energy, Scorpio. And this Queen of Swords. So Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius again. Strong Aquarius energy. I feel like you need to focus on your happiness and your immediate family. That's um that's your children, your relationship is what I'm feeling. Everybody else, I feel like people keep pulling on your energy. There's a lot of cups here. I don't know why I keep feeling the, fo the need to focus on a cup. Somebody could have been battling with some drinking or alcoholism or something in reference to drinking or this and if it's not drinking then this is somebody just feeling depleted pulling they pouring their cups out to everywhere i feel like so many people rely on you and your energy and it's making you frustrated i don't know if a lot of people want to vent to you and talk to you with this queen of swords here I'm getting this energy of maybe a mother figure, queen, a mother figure, possibly uh, criticizing either your household, your family, or what you do, or how you do something, and it puts you in a depressive anxiety state, or the fact that something is going on is making you lose hope. So you need to just focus on what I'm getting. You need to focus on your ultimate happiness and you and your family and your household, what you have going on, what's going to be wish fulfillment for you, what's going to ultimately make you happy inside. Don't worry about the people who are around you, this queen of swords energy. Don't worry about this energy of somebody criticizing or chastising or saying something or putting you down and don't, don't lose the faith. Don't lose the faith or the hope of you wanting to pursue something or have a greater greater aspiration or want to do something for yourself. I feel like it's something you want to pursue, but you take the advice of somebody who really doesn't have a leg to stand on because you're doing good for yourself and your own family. I feel like you're valuing somebody's opinion who don't really have an opinion to give because I feel like I don't know if this person drinks. 
because it's too many cups here this is a this is 12 cups somebody's birthday could be in the month of december or October or February. <laughs> and there's also a kid here watching, a feminine energy that's here watching, who is evolving and changing. I don't know if you can see that. You see how this feminine energy is here and it's a butterfly that signifies transformation. So someone, and they're, while they're transitioning, they are paying attention to everything that this queen of swords is doing or saying, and it's in the reverse. So they are watching everything. Somebody also can't get out the past because this Queen of Swords is facing to the left. Somebody is stuck in the past. They can't move. They have a hard time moving forward. And so I feel like this puts you in a depressive state. So what's going on here with the past? What is it that Scorpio is needing to leave behind? You need to release this pain, release this heartbreak, heartache. Three of Swords in the reverse. It could be three people that's affecting you. Once again, it's an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I feel like there, when it comes to you being triggered by something, you have to release this person who's triggering you. You have to release this person who's distracting you from your goal if you want to maintain some type of sustainable results. If you feel like that you, when you're in the presence of this person and somehow your body just start feeling some type of way, your head start hurting, you start feeling like you, your vibration just changed. It's this person's energy that's overpowering yours and making you get in this depressive state or this sad state. So they are wanting you to release this. What you need to do, or or even you already aware of this, this is what happened in your past if you walking away from this, or two, this is what you're learning to release. I'm getting the strong energy of you wanting to improve yourself, but you're just like, okay, where, how, what, like, it's, it's, it's so much going on. I feel like it's centered around your family because you care so much about your family. You have a lot of emotions here about your family, but I'm also getting with the swords coming out in reverse. There's a lot of pain, a lot of coldness. Either some people don't know how to communicate and talk or when it rains, it pours. It's like, it's one thing after another. Cause I see the rain. The clouds, it's a lot of clouded judgment. I feel like there's miscommunication here. There's a lot of untold stories from pain or heartbreak or heartache. Um, there's a lack of communication. Even it's a lack of communication or too much communication. It's like, okay, I get it. But it's a lot of triggers. Something that's just very triggering. And this is this is somebody in the family. This feminine energy. It could be an aunt, a sister, a mom, a cousin, a grandma. I'm getting a lot of feminine energy coming out here. A lot of heartbreak, a lot of sadness, a lot of trauma that has not been healed. And so all it is, maintain, staying around this energy is kind of distracting you from what you need to do or the results that you want to have. You'll probably start off going to the gym and you'll go for one week or two weeks and then you'll fall off because something doesn't happen. Somebody calling you and needing you because the car broke down. And now it's hard for you to pick that energy back up and maintain going. Or somebody needs something or wants something. And it's emotionally taxing and it's mentally taxing. I feel like if somebody's pulling on your heartstrings or somebody's, their conversation, their demeanor, something just comes off as negative about this person, condescending, negative, harsh, bitterness is what I'm feeling. I sense some type of bitter energy. If somebody is upset because something isn't growing. It's not prospering the way that they would like. And so it's like almost like you're hearing the results of it because something isn't prospering in their life, so now you're hearing it. Okay, what's the strengths? What's the strengths? What's Scorpio strength? Mm. We have the Ten of Swords on strength. All these swords. This air sign, nine of swords coming out afterwards. Ten of swords, nine of swords. Devil. The devil speaks. Didn't I just say this? The devil speaks of like alcoholism, abuse, physical abuse, mental abuse, uh, struggling, being in bondage. Um, I'm also getting the energy of either a toxic relationship or someone. Someone being in a relationship with someone or they're bonded by trauma. Someone dealing with a lot of triggers, temptation. Someone is surrounded by temptation. 
strong temptation and they're bound to this energy <laughs> Okay, Spirit, you're going to have to clarify this because how is this a strength? I feel like somebody's up late at night having nightmares or even if I had to look at this as a strength, even though all three of these cards are black, they're gloomy, they're dark. These are three dark cards, three black cards, if you can see that. If I had to look at this as a strength, my interpretation, Spirit. I feel like things can't get no worse than what it is. Especially with the 10 coming out first, this is almost a completion of a cycle, but somebody is regressing or taking a step back because you went from the 10 of swords to the nine of swords. It's like you are almost like, I feel like you were being tested and you almost completed this test, but something is triggering. Something is holding you back or something's making you revert or take a step back. Um, and you realize that something is wrong. So I feel like the recognition that something is uncomfortable, the recognition that something isn't right, the recognition that something needs to change will be your strength. Because sometimes people don't recognize that they need to change. They're like, I don't need to change anything. I'm fine the way I am. This is me. I'm going to be this till the day I die. You're not saying that. You're recognizing that I have been stabbed in the back too long. I went through so much pain. I went through so much darkness. I have these different situations and issues that i'm battling with that i want to overcome so it somebody could be having a hard time sleeping at night battling with nightmares um up late at night feeling restless having a hard time trusting people engaging in a toxic conversation I want to feel like they have a demon on their back. If this is not you, Scorpio, it could be somebody around you. If it's not you. Spirit, please clarify this energy. What is this pertaining to? Of uh, this being a how is this a strength? How is this a strength? Divine intervention. Hmm. Divine intervention coming in in the reverse. Something's not hook up in the reverse. One night stand, intimacy, casual relationship, flame. Didn't I say this? I said this the whole time. And look at it in another day. Somebody is battling with uh, addiction, toxic attachment, drugs, alcohol, or obsession. I feel like your strength is that strength is that you know somebody needs divine intervention you know that somebody's going to deal with their karma of all the stuff like they whole world can be up in smoke so going down in flames and this person is in your energy this person could be in your family we have divine in intervention coming out in reverse i feel like somebody around you needs divine intervention someone has a strong addiction problem toxic attachment drugs alcohol or something and so you feel like this has been going on for a long time this is a relationship that has lasted a long time. This wasn't no quick thing. This is something that built up. You feel like this is like almost like I'm getting this energy like this is the results of something. Somebody's addiction or problems, toxic attachment, their drug or something is the results of something that happened. And maybe you feel bad for somebody is what I'm sensing. Like you're dealing with someone's problems or issues or addiction or whatever because you know that there's a deeper or hidden meaning here. Okay, thank you, spirit. Almost in a sense, you know why that happened. And Lord, why do I hear this? This mm, I, I'm not even gonna bring this guy name up. 
I'm not going to bring his name up, but it seemed almost like that situation with a Cassie situation or something like that. And oh, that's their business. So it's, I'm getting this feeling if somebody is in your family and say they were a child and you witnessed them being abused, you witnessed them dealing with some, um, SA situations or something I feel like this is why today you tolerate whatever this person is going through whatever this person is doing not in the sense of you enabling them because you feel like they need divine intervention you feel like their world is crumbling you feel like things are set on fire it keeps going ablaze it's like everything is just falling down I feel like your strength is that you sense this you can feel it intuitively that somebody needs help but the reason why you deal with it it's because you know it's a hidden meaning of where this is coming from. You can read in between the lines. You know that this has been a long time coming of this person drinking alcohol, being on drugs or something. Maybe you were a witness or you've been around them. Or maybe they vented to the essay that they dealt with, the, uh, the abuse they dealt with. And now this is the other side of it. This is the results. This is the karma. This is the energy. Not their karma. I'm not saying that. This is the cause and effect of this situation. And so it's like you're more understanding of this, but it still causes you anxiety and depression. It still is a distraction to you and what you need to do. This person may have casual relationships, one night stands, or have an intimacy problem. Or maybe this person said that this was just going to be a quick situation. I just want to try it. I just want to do a hit. And that's it. I'm going to get off of it. I just want to have a drink. And then it's been going on for a while. So, it's like, you sense all this. And you're like, this is toxic. This crap so toxic. I can't sleep at night. It's stressing me out. Being, I feel like being, you being around all this energy. And this, your strength is that you're aware of this. Your strength is that you can read between the lines. Your strength is your intuition keeps telling you that something is wrong. But yet you tolerate so much. You take on the weight of the world. You take on the weight of other people's issues. Even if it's crashing and burning and falling down, you're taking it on. It's like, but it's something you saw that was coming. You seen it coming and here you are. Here you are sitting right here with this person. You're right beside, you're right beside them. So what's going to happen in the near future spirit? What's going to happen in the near future? The hangman. If nothing changes, then nothing changes. If you want to maintain some sustainable results, we have the hangman coming out. This is you being confused. This is you being stuck. This is you wanting a change but not knowing which way to go. Wanting to take an action but feeling like stuck in between. Wanting to do, I just get this energy of you being on the fence or being on the line and not sh sure what to do or which way to go. So in the near future, you're going to feel stuck, especially when it comes to your success, comes to you wanting to do things, you going to the next level. You feel stuck on what to do next, where to go, how to proceed. And this is something that you're contemplating by yourself. It's nobody else's it's nobody else input. Somebody's birthday could be in December again. We have 12 coming out here. Or that could be a significant number. Maybe your birthday's on the 12th or something significant to 12. Maybe you gave yourself um 12 months, 12 weeks, 12 something. Something be significant. 12 weeks is what? Three months? A three-month time frame, a three-month goal, 12-week deadline or something. In the near future, with this energy coming out the hand, man, this is needing to make a choice but being stuck and being confused, kind of either procrastinating or being distracted or trying to figure out what you need to do What's going to be your next step. So what's the advice here, Spirit? Temperance. You needing to turn to Spirit, your spiritual beliefs. You need to bring balance back into your life. Balance your household, whatever that means to you. Bring some balance back into your life. Queen of Cups energy in the upright. This is you tapping into that loving side. The loving energy that you do have. Trying to find a way to get back to her. Get back to him. Finding balance. Rather, you got to 
go do something that's going to make you feel happy uh that's going to replenish your cup uh praying uh knowing that you have a spiritual team standing behind you with the angels being here knowing that you have protection around your life the advice is to go do something that's going to bring balance back into your life what causes you to be happy I'm also getting this energy of focusing on yourself, nurturing your happiness, nurturing yourself, nurturing your, the queen of cups is the energy of a, she gives me mothering energy, nurturing your kids, caring for your kids. Maybe some of you could have three children because I see three. So it's like, excuse me, there's like three children here. I don't know if you can see that three. Somebody is about to go to the beach or go on vacation or needing to go down by the water to go cleanse themselves. Somebody could be a child or of Oshun or oh Yemiya something. Somebody could be a siren or or love mermaids. Someone is needing to pray. Somebody could be about to win a competition or win a trophy or something. Overall. The advice is to bring balance into your life by nurturing things that ultimately make you happy. That's going to make you more um less on one way of the spectrum and more on the other. And what I mean by that is less on... You need to clear certain energies out that's making you feel like you are in this negative state. That every day is a sad day. You need to balance that energy. Like that it, some, some days are going to be great. Other days may not. But no, that comes with the territory. That comes with life. That comes with the human experience. But it should not be every day is just toxic, arguing, fighting, cussing, hollering. Hip, like There needs to be some type of balance. Somebody got to go. Something got to be balancing your energy. What's going on in Scorpio's environment? What's going on in our environment? The moon. A lot of things are being brought to light. There has been a lot of things hidden, but it's being illuminated at this time, especially when it comes to certain relationships or partnerships, because we have the two of cups out here in the reverse. So what's being hidden is coming to the light. A lot of truth is going to be revealed. A lot of truth is going to be revealed about being un uh, about this unhappiness. You got the Ace of Swords and the Upright followed by the Ace of Cups in the reverse. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of clarity coming to Jesus moment about these partnerships, about these relationships. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> about this pain, the anxiety and depression. Someone is really needing to face their shadow side, face their pain, face their emotions. Someone does something to avoid their emotional side. So they show up and just smile every day when really there's a lot of pain or hurt here or there's something that's hidden, uh, and especially when it comes around emotions. So someone is smiling at, smiling at somebody's face, but they really don't feel that way. They really want to express themselves so there's going to be a lot of things being illuminated and coming to light in reference to this partnership this relationship this business deal this friendship this there also could be something in reference to somebody's medical medical or someone's strength somebody's going to have a vulnerable moment a weak a weak moment maybe that you may see this as a weak moment to not really speak of somebody feel like oh it's, i'm too weak Somebody feels like speaking up causes them to look weak. When it really is not weak, it's you speaking your truth and getting more clarity on the situation. Spirit is forcing this to happen. Spirit is going to force somebody's hand, especially to speak on why they have been hurt, why they chose to drink, why they chose to go this path of what's going on, what's really hurting them. Somebody's possibly needing to go get counseling and seek some type of help. Doing this is going to bring happiness and solution or resolutions to the family with this 10 of pentacles here this is the sustainable results where everybody in the family is going to be helped it's going to start tearing down this wall something's going to help build the generation up build the generations or fix something for the generations to come and this could be speaking about what happened to grandmom happened to me and happening to my kid or like somebody need to go down the family line and figure out why something is the way that it is and this has something to do with emotions 
maybe in the family somebody believed that well great grandma really didn't um talk about her emotions as much and then grandma didn't talk about her emotions so i don't talk about my emotions like something needs to be communicated there needs to be more communication more truth more talking more conversations more phone calls more love Someone is explaining why we don't love each other the way we do, why we don't really give out hugs, why we aren't as supportive, why we aren't as close. Like, there needs to be this type of communication. This is kind of what's going on in the environment. So, let's pull... Let's pull an angel number before we close this reading out. Angel number. We have 2002. This speaks of the void. Longing. It says you have more control over your life than you realize. Learn and execute what interests you. Turn things around. It gets better with time. There are plenty of friends to make, so chill out. Have fun and open up. Go outside. Somebody needs to get out the house and go outside to fill that void. Someone feels empty inside, dealing with depression and anxiety. If you want to fill that void and have some sustainable results, um, have some forward thinking. Don't focus on the past, but focus on a on a future release distress and depression it's um become ambitious focus on your goals maybe somebody need to like learn how to deal with the computer or technology or something somebody is long longing for some type of friendship or relationship or partnership somebody that is strictly for you and you're a smart individual it's just you just have to realize that you are in control of your life that's why we had that temperance when it said bringing more balance back into your life and give me one more spirit and then we have angel number nine 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 and this speaks about lessons learned it says take stock of your accomplishments and how you have arrived at them this is a reminder to maintain optimism and to drive towards your goals maintain your momentum and know that your powers the powers of heaven have your back you made it and the reward goes to you so you learned some lessons here then i say that so i can't get no worse than this i mean especially you done been through a lot is what i'm sensing this is speaking of results the benefits of things reflecting on things that had happened already but also realizing that you have completed certain cycles and chapters that have closed and new doors are opening and as long as you maintain it being persistent and you have learned your lesson you can move forward angel number 12 12 speaks of oh happy day an ample opportunity related to your life's purpose is just around the corner it's right there then i say you are at a 10 10 speaks of beginning and end the alpha and omega completing a cycle so it says it's just around the corner take immediate action once it pops up of course a lovely partnership or in that or an epic romance is also in the cards so that two of cups if somebody's making you unhappy you can have new experiences you can shift your perspective you can shift your energy to something else um this speaks of just being grateful for what you do have do have and being content finding your happiness um going out there experiencing something new eating new foods going on new trips going on trying something new wearing your hair in a different hairstyle wearing different clothing doing something you have never done before to bring some more excitement in your life so you're not feeling stuck in this hangman energy or stand around these stagnant toxic people so this is all I have for you, Scorpio. If anything resonated, please leave me a message down below. And I love you. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.